Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial for Coldplay's A Sky Full of Stars, an ingenious dance track that is built out of an organic piano part. So although there are not many chords because it's dance and it evolves around sort of the repetition of uh, the same chord progression, uh, there is a lot of cool pop piano stuff going on here. So let's dive right into it. This is what we're going to play. Yeah, um, very recognizable. This is the intro on the piano and actually later on the synthesizers take over but that's all built out of this part and actually it's very similar. So once you get this, you can play the entire thing almost. There's a bridge with a sort of a different chord progression but built out of the same chords. Let's take a look at the first chord which is an E flat minor seven chord. This is your regular E flat minor. The seven is a D flat, so that's added over here. Then we're gonna use this inversion. And now um, I'll first show you the chords so that you can play. Yeah, so that you know which notes to press and then we're gonna get into that rhythmic thing that makes it so sort of funky. So the first chord, an E flat, minor seven the left hand is gonna play just a root note over here then we're walking over a d flat the right hand just moves uh, only the top note one up the left hand only the lowest note one down so actually that's a sort of a b flat minor seven with a third in the bass or you could say a c sharp with or d flat with a six uh, not really important here this is the voicing. Yeah, it's just second chord, B e flat, D flat, A flat. Then on to a uh, B major seven sus two, sort of nine. There's no third in there. So this is your regular B, a major seven, and a nine. Put that nine over here and leave out the third. The left hand is going to play octaves over here. So the third, the first three chords after one another. Yeah. So this you could also see it as an F sharp chord in second inversion over these. And then if you see it as an F sharp, the next chord is an F sharp. So you could just leave that over there. Move basses over here. F sharps or G flat and then on to uh, B flat minor 7 so that's a B flat this is your regular B flat minor this is the 7 we're gonna move that over here and leave out the root here so we're left with A flat D flat F left hand a B flat for now okay so first See if you can play this. Yeah, that's the basics. If you if you play that and sing the melody, you'll be perfectly fine as well. But we're gonna get a little more into that piano part. So we start adding some rhythm. Those are the first three chords and notice that I'm only playing now just one note with the left hand that's to make it easier first to grasp the rhythmic concept and then to we'll we'll evolve it to the piano part later on this is where we're going next okay yeah so There's an extra sort of feel over there. Okay, 
Okay, that will be the sort of easiest version with rhythm added. Then we're going to make it a little more complicated by adding those notes back. So, uh, the left hand first, just the one note. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, same thing. But then on the B major 7 over here. Now we're playing three notes with the left hand. B's and an F sharp. So... Okay, now I play a 1 and a 5 over here, but actually what would be the better step to take right now is to uh, add um, this one over here because it's distinctly, you know, I think this is really cool because it's sort of, you know, we're actually playing a D flat chord with a B flat in the bass, which makes it a B flat minor 7, but once you add this back, it's sort of tricky to hear if it's the minor 7 or just a major chord, but okay, uh, again, one, one more time. here you could add the five as well so uh, you see me playing octaves now and add the five over here um, okay now there is an extra thing that he does over at that B flat chord which is also heard in the bass over at the chorus in the bass guitar so that's pretty cool to copy that's like this And actually, sometimes it's, or, and this is obviously the new E flat chord, the new one. So, yeah, together that sounds like this and goes like this. Yeah, because it's played simultaneously with, so we're getting, or, yeah, so now we're getting sort of more advanced into those pop piano techniques, combining the chord voicings with the rhythm and sort of a bass lick over here, so a melodic thing, although it's played in your left hand, okay, so now the trick uh, to the intro part is to actually not stick too strictly to this part but to you know play it flowingly and make sure that some notes come out louder than others and uh, yeah, yeah just it's it's sort of a feel thing it's pretty hard to describe you know this is the basics and then you add your musicality to, musicality to it starts flowing now then he starts singing and this part just continues on going because actually once you ace this part you're pretty close to playing the entire song there is however a difference when he starts singing higher and this is called the pre-chorus uh, yeah, although he sings it an octave higher but then you're gonna play this Okay, so the only difference is that now you play no longer this B major 7, 9, but it's a regular B, although it's in first inversion. So... Two times. Uh, sorry, that's two times, so I meant... Yeah, so there it's played, the, that B is played again. So once he starts singing that high thing, also just a regular B. Then the next round, because uh, in the sky, because in the sky full of stars, that's again the same round as. And then. 
then we get to the cores and actually that's built out of the same chords so um but uh, the variation with the b so the part for the courses is i suggest you play octaves in your left hand now to make it more fuller and heavier yeah okay but i actually made a mistake right away because the bass is the only thing that sort of change my does a minor variation yeah so that actually the bass just let me So first you play an F and it's sort of a 5 in the bass or actually it's a 3 in the bass because okay this is gonna get too theoretical never mind that one just play an F over here so it's actually C sharp or D flat chord over F and then the B flat minor 7 for just a second pay attention second round So you see what happens there? There's a C uh, sharp or D flat in the bass over there. But, but, but third round. And there you're back. And then once the song uh, breaks down again, so the verse is exactly the same part. And then you get to the chorus, which is the same chorus as we saw, just those chords. Uh, also, just a side note, you see me playing sort of a stripped down version here. I do suggest playing the uh, the octaves in the bass, but if you wanted to make it sort of a more easy version or just to practice it first, then that was, this would be a, a great option, right? Just those single notes in the bass. Um, then the bridge is really easy. Okay, so what happens here is uh, actually because it's sort of more in the later part of the song, you might want to also play basses, uh, doubled basses, octaves, and four notes over here. That's however many notes you want to add. You know, it's not just a piano, so this is this is sort of up to your taste as well. Um, then uh, I'll just uh, show you how to sort of extend it in a second. First. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's very easy stuff. Just play the quarter beats with your left hand, just the root notes, either octaves or just a single one. The right hand is gonna play the voicings in off beats. So we're doing one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so the only sort of tricky thing here is because we already saw all these chords right just the b the c sharp and the e flat minor seven and then an f sharp chord which leaves the voicing over here exactly the same Um, the only sort of tricky thing is that the bass note uh, skips to the F sharp on the second beat. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? So together that's like this. Okay, I'm also gonna show you to play four notes over here. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Alright, that's the bridge. Then you get back to the chorus, which is the same thing, and you can play in the entire song. Pretty cool stuff going on, and not too many chords, but you see, 
once you start adding and writing also in pattern and adding notes stripping notes you can do so many things with chords and um, playing pop piano like this if you uh, want to uh, learn more about that and you're really motivated and interested in learning how to approach the piano like this and play like this figure out songs yourself write them yourself play like this and be more free on the piano then maybe um, you would like to consider reading my book taking my course it's called hack the piano you can find it over at my website else um, if you enjoyed this video and I hope you did then please hit the thumbs up like it share it leave a comment get over to my website for more free stuff and um, get on my newsletter if you want to receive something free every week and then i hope to see you next time guys thanks for watching bye bye